Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More. It's Leo speaking. Today we're going to start the exciting journey in learning how to use Nambu in more details. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. And indeed, I still have a huge percentage of viewers which are not subscribed, so it would be really nice if you could do so. Thank you very much. Okay, we are inside uh, um, AUM. And um, I have created uh, an audio channel, as you can see. I have loaded Nambu as uh, a uh, audio unit in, and in the audio source um, node. And as you can see, depending on the size of uh, the window, Nambu will resize automatically, which is quite nice. I have also loaded a, an oscilloscope, and I will use these in the series. Um, because it helps sometimes uh, seeing what Nambu is actually doing. So let's open up Nambu, ensure that it's connected to the UM keyboard and also resize it so that I have this zoomed in view of the controls. Um, because you find sometimes that uh, Nambu, when it is a full screen with all the different controls, particularly on a tablet, and it might be a little bit too small and difficult to read. So hopefully this is better as a tutorial. So you might be on a preset. In this case, I have the standard preset um, selected. But you might be using a different preset. It doesn't really matter. So click on the preset name and then click on new there. And what it will say now is initialized and you'll have these uh, FM operator type for operator A. Okay, and the waveform is sound wave. Okay. Just as a reminder, here on the left-hand side, you have six operators from A to F, and you can select them. Just click on them, very simple. And then you can also disable them. Click on the corresponding on and off button. So if I want to disable, for example, operator A, I click on it, and you will see it change the grades out also the interface for that operator. Okay, so you might hear also a bit of clicking, okay? So if that annoys you, just increase what it says attack one at the time and also release as well. That sounds much, much better. Let's do that on operator two as well. So we have a similar type of uh, sound produced. Next, what I'm going to do, I have operator B selected, still of um, operator type FM, so frequency modulation. I'm going to click on the waveform. This is where you can have access to 32 waveforms, really nice. And I'm going to select a different one, this one which is approximate the square wave. Okay, now if I click on the keyboard, I still hear operator A, or do, sorry, A, A, yes, because I, because that is what is connected to the output, although I have selected operator B. So now let's scroll to the right or swipe to the left until we see this screen which says metrics. And this is a core concept to understand right at the beginning before we go any deeper into how the synthesis of this amazing synth works. So Make sure you are on level here because uh, this is where you adjust the levels between uh, one operator to the to the other, and you can also adjust the modulation as well. You can also have access to a template in the way that the operators are connected, and you can initialize the metrics as well. So make sure that you are on level. Now, by default, you will see this dial here, which is a maximum, and then you see this line, this blue line with an arrow pointing to out for output is going from the operator A into the output. Okay, so if I decrease the dial, you will see that the line disappearing. And indeed, you can also double click to go back to zero as a setting. And now, if I click on the keyboard, I don't hear any sound at all. So, that the way that it works is um, pick up the uh, a row where you want that um, a level or that signal coming uh, going to. Uh, from an operator, and then move to the left and then stop at the level of the operator which you want to hear, in this case A, and increase the dial. And just to prove, let's go to operator B. And now you hear that square wave, right? So that is uh, 
operator B, which is going to the output, and you can see also that blue arrow as well. Okay. Um, let's uh, increase operator A again. So we hear operator A. And now let's go back to operator B and reset it to that way form that sine wave as well and let's double check that that is all okay so let's see operator b oops i still hear uh, a bit of variation here let's click initialize like so okay perfect let's adjust the attack again and the release as well Perfect. So I might, uh, I'm sure I changed the, some of the controls as I was swiping left to right. Okay, and that is why you need to be actually careful. So um, we have these two sine waveform coming from operator A and operator B, which sounds exactly the same because they are configured the same. Okay. Now you can have more than one together as well. So in this case, you have operator A and operator B going directly to the output. And the output is actually higher. How do we um, show this? Well, that's why uh, I brought in the oscilloscope, because the oscilloscope uh, is what helps. So let's have only operator A going to the output. This is what it looks like. And now let's increase the level of operator B. So you can see that the waveform is actually increasing in amplitude, right? And let's decrease both of them. So this is only operator A, and now I can decrease further operator A to zero. And you can see the amplitude of that waveform is actually decreasing. Okay, so this is one way that you can connect directly to output each operators, and of course you can do that for the other operators as well, C, D, E, F. And remember, you can also disable operator from here, just clicking on the name of the operator itself. Okay, now let's um, disable operator A output, and let's ensure that operator B is a max. If I was to increase this dial, or change this dial, which connects operator A and operator B, First, let me show you that there is a new arrow which appears, which will connect operator A to operator B. Similar rule that we followed for the output, you choose B, move to the left, you have A, only one in this case, because before B there is only operator A, and you connect the two. Now, this is where the sound is interesting, this is where you, you go into modulating, because this is where you adjust the level between one operator to the next. And you can see also the waveform which is changing. And that's an important concept, okay? So that is why I wanted to show you, uh, first of all, the metrics, because when you understand how the metrics uh, works, um, uh, it's good. You can move on, we can move on to other concepts. Um, so now, Let's go further and, and understand a little bit more uh, how the metrics works in terms of connection. And for this, we're going to use the template. So click on the template. Let's move right to the right where it shows you this uh, template here, the last one. It practically shows you, if you imagine the horizontal um, black line is your output, and it practically showing you that operator A, B, C, D, E, F are connected directly to the output. So let's connect that. And let's see if that is uh, works like that. Yeah, you see, each one is connected to the output, like so, and you can see all the corresponding dial on the output row, which are set to max. Now, let's see if we understand how it works. Now, let's choose the first one. So operator A, B, and C are connected into operator D, so I'm modulating operator D. Then D go, goes into E, E goes into F, and then the output is at the very bottom. Okay, so let's uh, choose that one and let's see if we understand the configuration. So operator A is connected to D, like so. That is why you have this dial here, like so, using the same rule as explained. The same for operator B, the same for operator C. Then D 
is connected to A. That is why you have this dial like so. The same from E and F, and then from F to the output itself. And you can create a very interesting sound, of course, with FM synthesis. But remember, uh, Numbo is doesn't do only FM. It does also AM. It has resonator. It has filters, etc., etc. Et so it can do a lot. And particularly when it comes actually to um, modulating. Okay, which is something that I will start to show you in the next tutorial. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Um, as an exercise, for example, you ought to um, ensure that you understand uh, correctly how the metrics works in terms of connection, perhaps uh, choose other different templates and then see if you understand how each one uh, is actually connected. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time. Bye.